Hey everybody, what's going on? This is your boy Takedown Man, and you are watching another episode of The Hidden Internet right here on my channel. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man, and I am back with another episode. And on this episode, guys, we are going to talk about Bluish Coder. That's right. This is what Bluish Coder is, and I know I've probably shown this before, but like I said, I'm going back in alphabetical order of all the onions here. And, um, alright guys, is what this is, though, is a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you clone a phone? Well, this right here shows you how to do it, step by step, each process, each and every one. And it is a lot of info, guys. Um, if you look to the right there, you will actually see the scroll bar here just going, going and going. All right, so if you're wondering how to do it, guys, this is pretty much how it is. And once again, I apologize for any background noise. You guys know I'm at Wendy's right now shooting until Wednesday of next week, whenever I can get back on my feet. So, yeah. However, though, we're just gonna go through this just a little bit. All right, so now let's just go on the side here, going up. We're just gonna randomly click. Of course, yeah, I know you guys are like, randomly click. No, it's not that kind of randomly clicking. But yeah, um, all right guys, so pretty much though, it just shows all kinds of really cool stuff on how to do, just basically anything you want to do as far as cloning. So yeah. All right. I got a feeling this this Wi-Fi is going to take me a minute seeing how it is public Wi-Fi and there are other people here using it. However, though, guys, it does actually work. It's actually a pretty cool site. It will be in the links at the end of the video. So yes, for all you guys who are wondering, you know where all the links are, they are on the video. You just have to watch the video to find them. All right, guys, we're gonna go on to the next site. All right, guys, on this next site here, we're going to talk about booting live ISIS on Lux slash DM Crypt from Grub2. Once again, probably something I've showed before. However, like I said, we're going out for the corner. I know there's a few on here I haven't ever shown, so. But pretty much those, what it does, it just, <clears throat> Well, we'll just read it here. In order to help getting to buy in live CDs boot from encryption partitions, <clears throat> by the help of Grub2, I created this small tutorial for setting up a test environment. Of course, you can install Grub2 yourself on a pen drive, but I wanted it to be easy for everyone, so I require you to use Genome Disk version 3.8 as you get it in to buy in experimental, not unstable, not unstable yet, package Genome Disk Utility. And basically is what it does, it just runs you through everything. Just step by step on how exactly to do it with pictures so that way you guys will actually know how to do it. How to set up everything, how to get it going, and how to get it live. There you go. As you guys can see, I mean, it, it is really useful information if, um, you know, if you guys are interested in anything like this, so... And I do like it because it does go step by step and it actually shows the, the JPEGs and so forth of what you should be doing here and just running it down. Just really easy. So, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and head on to the next uh, site. All right, guys, on the next one, we're going to talk about Boris Negev. I'm guessing that's his name. Um, he has an onion on here and is what he does. He is a PhD student. He is a programmer in C++, Lua, and other. Um, he uses nickname Starus, which I have actually seen on the deep web and on hacking forums. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, he kind of goes through a little bit of everything on here as to what he does and shows what he does. Um, let's see. There it is. Just so that we can get kind of a little bit of an idea as to what he does. <laughs> so 
So he shows you, he gives you, you know, your walkthroughs and so on. So yeah, so if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, it's a great read. It's a great read, especially if you're looking to get into programming. This is a pretty cool site, so you guys be sure to check it out. All right, guys, on this one, we're going to talk about Bitdig. And on Bitdig is what it is, is basically just a website that you can type anything into. And it is just like Dig. It gives you everything you are looking for on it. As you can see, I typed in hack and so forth. Hacker hacking. Yes, people are now back there, but it works, whatever. We still get our deep web in, so whatever works. Huh? All right, guys, so as you can see here, got a little bit of everything lined up for you guys here. All right, so what you have to do is just type it in, bam, you're good to go. Okay, everyone, on this one right here, we're going to talk about Koji, um, the Koji web, basically. And as what they are, they are different opera systems that people have built and um, it's about as much as I know about it however guys if you are more aware of what this is exactly you can tell me um, builds, I guess and the connection here is is very slow so something we'll just have to see there we go it's a little bit better but yes, yeah, so as you guys can see here, it shows a little bit of everything. There's a lot of builds on here, as you can tell. Bam, look at that. Gives you everything you need to know about it. That's why that's really, really interesting. Um, so yeah, it's something uh, to pique the interest of a few people on here, I'm sure, so. Either way, guys, this is your boy Take Down there. Just saying thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow night on the next episode. So uh, peace out. Mahalo. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you guys later.